This is Mission Control Houston. Good morning. Thank you for joining us here today on Memorial Day, May 25th, 2020. You're getting a live look from the International Space Station looking down at the HTV-9 cargo vehicle. The space station and HTV flying just about 259 statute miles over the Arabian Sea on an orbital daytime. HTV has just departed the 250-meter hold point and crossed what's known as the keep-out sphere. Now 235 meters from the International Space Station and closing at a rate of about uh, 0.16 meters per second. This is the view uh, that Cassidy and Wagner are watching as we speak. This view provides telemetry. And now that HTV is inside the keepout sphere, Cassidy and Wagner have the ability to issue an abort of HTV's approach if communications with the International Space Station has been lost with the International Space Station flight control room. The views you'll see from the International Space Station towards HTV are about to get just a little bit darker as we cross over the Terminator line into an orbital nighttime. The International Space Station flight control room confirming a good uh, 30 meter hold. HTV will remain in this position uh, through the orbital night time, so for just about 40 or 45 minutes. Station Houston and 2, HTV has begun approach from 30 meters. Monitor per step 9 and 1 decimal 102. Step 9 and work. HTV closing in on 20 meters from the International Space Station. HTV continuing to slow down just a little more than 10 meters from station now. Station Houston and 2, confirm capture po point hold per step 10 in 1.102. One Houston, uh... The capture point is confirmed. The grapple fixture remains within the capture volume on both camera views. And here it is. We're getting those views back uh, from the TDRS satellites, the tracking and data release satellites that provide us this high definition view from the International Space Station. There it is, HTV 9 holding at its capture position, 9.2 meters away from the International Space Station. You see the robotic arm there to the bottom left of your screen.
Station Houston and two, Chris, you are go for HDV capture sequence. Execute step four in robotics procedure one decimal one one zero HDV capture and begin monitoring the backaway cue card. Starting to see some movement of the robotic arm. HTV configured for free drift. Robotic arm closing into HTV about four meters away. Heading in for an early capture of HTV today. Arm is three meters away. HTV now confirmed in free drift. Arm is two meters away. Stand by for contact. One meter from capture. Arm is over the pin. Good trigger. The snare is closed. Standing by for confirmation of capture. And we have capture confirmed. 7.13 a.m. Central Time. HTV in the International Space Station. We're 260 miles. Post capture reconfiguration. It was an honor for Expedition 63 to be part of uh, the final HTV mission a vehicle that has contributed so greatly to the International Space Station program. Congratulations to our friends and colleagues at, in SCUBA. And Chris and Ivan, congratulations on an excellent job capturing Conatori. From the first arrival of uh, JAXA's HTV cargo ship on September 17, 2009, this invaluable resource from our Japanese partners has delivered vital supplies, experiments, and new batteries to, to extend the life of the station. Today's arrival of the final in the series of this genre of HTV vehicles marks the transition to a new and even more capable vehicle in the HTV X, which will soon make its debut. We congratulate our Japanese colleagues for a magnificent chapter in space station history and wish them all the best in the next phase of resupplying the International Space Station in the years ahead.